Ramble. Thank you to Hatch for sponsoring today's episode. When you did, you go to the barber and say, "Hey, I want the." (laughs) I showed him a picture of you. I said, (laughs) "I said, here's uh, this is what I want. Can you make me look like this?" And they said. Impossible. You sure you want to <laughs> you sure you look like that? <laughs> Impossible. One time I went to the hairdresser and I was like, this is what I want. I want to look like Meg Ryan in When Harry Met Sally. And she was like, okay, so she has a perm, so I can't <laughs> cut your hair and make it look like that. Yeah, that's But fair. I can cut it short. And I was like, honestly, whatever. I'm working at a summer camp and I'm hot all day. By the way, hairdressers of the world, tell me if this is wrong, but I feel like... What are you doing, Miles? I'm pulling out a wedgie. Okay, sweet. I feel like bringing a photo for your haircut, that's the move. Yeah, I showed her a picture of me at like my wedding. At my hottest. <gasps> at, I said, oh. I, said, I literally always bring my wedding photo. Yeah, I was like, I want to look like this, and she was. He was like, she was like, that's great, awesome. Like, that's way easier for me because otherwise I'm gonna be like, I want four inches. My hair was shoulder length when I went. And which by is the way, crazy. the, the audience can't look. see this, but yeah. you look good. You Thank look you. sharp. You look clean. Thank you. You look. You. I assume you smell better. I do. You know what? I do smell that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you That's look like you cologne. got your life together. I guess I'm guessing yeah. just based on your haircut that you filed your taxes on time. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> well, tax day isn't here yet, so I'm sort of, and I'm a small business owner, obviously. Oh, huh? So you're gonna get an extension? Yeah, well, I'll probably get that extension, but I also accidentally sort of re-uploaded a lot of my bank transactions from the last year, causing a lot of duplicates and causing me to have to kind of look through the QuickBooks profile and say, mm, mm. "This did not happen twice <laughs> on a uh. lot of stuff." So that was a little bit annoying, but no, I didn't do my taxes yet. Well, let's but talk I- about your hair then. Okay, so what was the <laughs> <laughs> what well, was the experience like? You walk in, were you nervous? Because it was a, a big change. I went to a fancy salon. Mm-hmm. First you're, of all, you're, you're fancy normal? salon. I went to a fancy salon. Oh, we're we talking Highland Park. Are we talking? Well, no, I'm we not going to say. Well, I'm not going to say where. But you it was wanna, You don't want to promote a small business? No, I don't want to promote a small business because it's near my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but well, no one assumed that. <laughs> okay. You could have driven Got across town. <laughs> you I went, went to, a- to a fancy ass salon. Well, you know what I'll say, and I really hate to say this. Yeah. I cheated on my hairdresser. I just had to do the same thing. And it really hurt oh. my soul to do so. But his prices, I've been going to the same hairdresser for a long time. Mm-hmm. And I, nobody at him. But basically... <laughs> I've been going to the same hairdresser for like years now at this point. Yeah. He been, he's been upping his prices and moving further and further away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, is it me, I'm thinking? <laughs> and I was like, okay, so I could go all the way across town to go to this hairdresser or I could go to this new, cool, funky hair salon that's just as expensive, mm-hmm. which is, uh, you know, haircuts are incredibly expensive. They but shampoo I was like, you? What's that? They shampoo you? Oh, she washed me. Oh, that's me. my favorite part. <laughs> I, I was struck by how tender the experience was when I did it again recently, because it's a stranger. Yeah, yeah it Very really often do people touch your scalp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, it was actually, because I know my old hairdresser so well, I kind of was like, it was a weird experience, because I was like, oh, like, I immediately started sharing about my life. You have? To, like, so let me give you the low, you got to catch up. Yeah, because I was like, <laughs> I want this to be fun for all of us. Yeah. Like, I want us to be having a fun conversation while I'm sort of, you're doing my hair. Yeah. And I have that with my old hairdresser. Yeah. And, you know, now with this new hairdresser, I don't even know if I'll stick with her, but in this new salon. Yeah. I was like, you okay. You got to get a rapport. I want this to be, yeah. It's so, it's almost like a first date in a lot of ways. So I, I had a similar experience where my haircut's not as nice as Miles's, is, but uh, my <laughs> my, my regular <laughs> Mr. D- David Dang, uh, he was he was uh, down. I need mm. I it was getting to a point where I'm like I gotta I gotta take care uh, of this. You cheated on David. I cheated on David. He, I haven't told him yet. He looked at me the other day because <gasps> he was here and he was like, <laughs> "We gotta we gotta do a haircut, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, no, I kind of just did it oh days ago." Oh, <laughs> this means that Zach, I didn't you do didn't a good tell job. him. Because I was just, I was about to go out of town. I just, it was like, it was enough. I was before my anniversary. Like, I needed the cut. Okay. And it's a tough thing when it's your buddy. Like, it's, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? You're like, hey, uh, LOL. But like, I need this now. Yeah, sure. So I, I went and I just, look, I'm, I'm a non-discerning guy. I just call the salon and say, who's available? Yeah, no, that's what I do with this new one. Jump in. And my glasses come off. Talked about this before. My eyes blurry as hell. I Ooh. go to a wonder world. I, I can't see. So I can't really connect. And oh. with David, he's my buddy. You're we catch to... up. Mm. But there are times where I go to get a haircut and I just want to kind of dis- disassociate. Wow. Oh, you... I am, I, I've had the same hairdresser since I was six 
And I still only get my haircut in Denver. And I tried to do it in LA, and it sucks. Wait, you, you only, only do it in Denver? <laughs> How is that Rainy, possible? We are in Los Angeles. Celebrities get their haircut here. <laughs> and there's first lots of, all, of great hairdressers in I, Los Angeles. I'm just going to go ahead and say that whoever's cutting your hair at six, there's, we could probably. <laughs> yeah, we, can, we don't need to stick with Karen. the same. Yeah. Was no it from Karen Slender. <laughs> no. It's this woman named Karen, and we catch up, and she's like, Oh, are you still running? And I'm like, Oh, how's um, your daughters? They're dancers. At the art school, you know, I got it. Well, how am I gonna drinks with her? Yeah, yeah you can. I don't need Honestly, to. I would no. love to. I would love to. You know, it's great it's almost like you haven't moved. You're sort of you have your ties in your old city. I have my. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. How often are you going to Denver? That means you're only getting haircuts yeah, like three times a year. I don't remember the last time I got a haircut. We got it. We got to take care of Denver. this. Mm-mm. Really? Should we cancel this park pod and go get you a haircut Can right we get now? Blowouts. <laughs> <laughs> blowout. Um, I have cut my own hair. Have you guys done that? I do that frequently. I've Frequently. done it with a bang, a rogue bang. I was like, okay, these bangs are too long on this side. Hey. I've also cut off my rat tail. I have a theory that everyone's hair has a natural order they wants to fall into. For Miles, obviously, rat tail. <laughs> <You're>, okay. <laughs> Your hair. And for yours is what? Bald. <laughs> Okay, Kitty's got claws. You bite me, I'm gonna bite back. <laughs> the natural order of my hair. Rat tail, jacuzzi. <laughs> By the way, yeah, the natural order. I am, I am fighting destiny fighting. every moment. Definitely. I was gonna say mushroom cut, but uh, you cut deeper. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> Mushroom cut? What's a mushroom cut? Uh, the fucking little dickhead. My my head wants to be a bulbous fucking oh. little dick. Having my hair this short, though, makes me be like, should I get frosted tips? <laughs> yes. Like, now that my hair's short, I'm like, why stop here? What if I went platinum blonde? Oh, fuck. Come on, that'd be I would funny. Do it, I would do it with you. Really? That'd be really fun. Yeah. Really, oh. Zach? You would? Yeah. I <laughs> I, I wanted to do uh, like a try guys dye their hair and and I yeah, like some people are really on board other people say that my hair will fall out like oh, that I yeah I don't that. know by the way yeah I'm seeing some grays in there oh bud. we got lots of grays look on the at side. that salt, salt and pepper. pepper I actually think that looks really nice on I, I think it's becoming yeah I think that's but nice every time <laughs> I go for a haircut David goes like oh honey those are the stress grays not the aging ones <laughs> damn oh, Zach, like, let's go yeah, what are you it's <laughs> Well, you gonna let off your chest, let off your steam. Yeah. I'm gonna go eat my salad. All right. Swallow my yeah, swallow kale. Here. here we go. Wait, look, swallow you said it was my... a picnic. So I brought food, I brought a blanket. Oh, by I... the way, I oh my gosh, I'm loving it. I the brought blanket. a blanket. Oh, I did yeah. a whole thing. I this is a picnic. Adorable. I'm the only one again with a picnic. And also, Granny, oh. not to point, not to jacuzzi, did you bring snacks? I brought snacks. Granny yeah, brought no. snacks. That's what I like to hear, okay? But that's that's the what? There's a little caveat. Uh oh. <laughs> What is the caveat? In order to get the snacks, you have to answer my riddles. Okay. <laughs> You're talking to somebody who loves puzzles so much and is obviously a gamer. <laughs> so, uh, Rhea, hit me, Rainy, with your riddle. All right. Your riddle's three. Go. Do we want something salacious or do we want something vanilla? Always salacious. Okay. I've never had a vanilla in my life. <laughs> Always chocolate. Um, These are from... Devin sometimes will give us little riddles in the office. <laughs> So, Sorry, so these are from Devin's Devin. Riddles. <laughs> these are, this segment Does is called Devin's Riddles. she get some like, popsicle sticks? I don't know where she gets these. This is a notes app screenshot. Whoa. Um, I go in hard, come out soft, and you love to blow me. Penis. What am I? Obviously a penis. <laughs> what do you mean, what am I? It's of course a penis. I go in hard, come out soft, and you always love me? <laughs> and you love to blow me. You're obviously a penis. <laughs> okay, well, let's- Imagine let's... if that was the answer. Okay, let's really think about this. I go in hard- I come, I come out, out soft, soft that and everybody you know. loves to blow Ice. me. Popsicle. Ice? What do you hard blow? I go, I go in hard, I come out <laughs> oh, soft. Poop, poop, food. <laughs> hot food. Hot food. You don't blow poop. Are you blowing poop? No, 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 hot food. Because you go in hard and you chew it, num, 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 uh-huh. and it comes out soft out your butt. I love to blow me. blow it. No. It's not poop. Okay, it's not poop penis or <laughs> things that you blow. I blow a, a whistle, whistle, a whistle, a flute, a flute, um, a blow, a kazoo. Oh, it's, it's a kazoo. Wind. Do you want the answer? No, I don't know. Tempting. I don't know. Do you want? Do you want? I'll give you a hint. Okay. okay yeah, please. You are closer with food. Closer with food. And it's not ice. <laughs> it's not ice. I bet you it's a specific food. I bet it's uh-huh. a. I go in hard. I come out. Soft mm. ice cream. Oh, that's a good one. But you don't blow it. Oh, you blow it. Oh, soup. That's not going in hard. 
Okay, it's but something hot. A you know, think about it this way, Zach. Something hot, so you go, <laughs> you blow, blow. But, but on people it. love to blow. Do people love Every, to blow? She it? said everyone loves to blow. You do love to blow this. I love to gum. Yes. Okay. You I'm a did. genius. You're a fucking going wow. hard. I'm a genius. Off. Okay, your prize. Is it gum? No, that would be funny. <laughs> your prize is a bubble 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 tape. How do you guys feel about sour? I love sour. I love sour. I want to try Ray and Trahan's new candy. Not to promo a product <gasps> oh. that we don't sponsor, but. Yeah, you know. I've heard, yeah. He, um, at the summit that we were, oh shit. Let's go. Trader dark Joe's chocolate dark chocolate espresso, espresso beans? beans. He gets the whole pack? That's a, that's. I'm going to eat all of them <laughs> in this single sitting. <laughs> all right, now we're going to wait for Miles to eat the entire pack. That's right. Oh, whoa, what that would I be. What if gobbled get... these down? I do love a chocolate covered espresso bean. When I was a kid, I used to think this made me so adult <laughs> to have these. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd have a little one and be like, oh my gosh. Me too. I not me yeah. having espresso. A little, <laughs> a little espresso. shot. Um, this morning, Maggie goes, Zachary, did you drink some of my <laughs> Trader Joe's brown sugar oat milk creamer? I'm like, yeah, it's in, it's in the Yeah, it's fridge. in the fridge, yeah. And she goes, that's liquid gold. <laughs> that's liquid brown <laughs> sugar oat milk creamer? She has talked about this on You Can Sit With Us, so I do know about it. It... <laughs> <laughs> Maggie is going on a press tour <laughs> about her brown sugar <laughs> oat milk She's creamer. really selling on me. It is like it's this tiny little cre- like thing. She says it's always sold out. And I'll tell you that I poured a little bit. I made a matcha with it, and it like it smells it so strongly. Mm. I enter a room and I'm like, whoa! Does brown. it smell like so a coffee sweet. shop? Like you know what I mean? Where it's that like brown, that sugar, that 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 oat. Oh, oh, good. Give me that oat. brown, me that, that sugar, sugar, that, that, that oat. Oh, oh, good. Give me that brown, that sugar, that <laughs> oat. Oh, oh, can oh, I get good. that brown? Um, so, that's interesting. Yeah, so we're doing a, essentially Trader Joe's taste test cross promo <laughs> with picnic episode. <laughs> oh, Trader, Trader Joe's God. haul of its Trader Joe's hand. haul. Because taste test would imply I haven't had every single item in Trader Joe's so many times. <gasps> really? I've gotten some, I got some wacky ones. I'm Trader Joe's loyal, even though I they love, are serving it up weird style. I went in this morning and I was just like, I am feeling serotonin. I'm mm-hmm. happy here. I'm happy I was here. eating last it, night, man. just last night. Some of their uh, off-brand Trader Joe's sour gummy things. Oh, the sweetest swimmers or whatever. But they're the swimmers. sour ones. Are they called swimmers? <laughs> yeah, the sweetest swimmer sours. Yeah. All right, can I have some, Niles? No, please, get in there, Rainy. Speaking of sour. Uh-oh. Can oh, I tell you? Ya? Yeah. Oh, I went God. to see. There is a coyote. Or, is a coyote. Oh, shit, yeah, a coyote. coyote. Imagine he just like jumped up behind me and bit me. <laughs> then you become Coyote Ow! Man. Yeah, we're in Griffith Park. There are a lot of coyotes. Oh, that is crazy. He's kind of a cute guy. Although you don't normally see them out in the day, and it makes me worry that he has rabies. Mm, no. Oh. Yeah. Wow, um, he's just really running. Look at that. Just he looks well fed. Should we go also. interview him? Yeah, let's see Miles mauled by a coyote today. <laughs> there was a, uh, a coyote loose in my hometown when I was a kid, and we would be playing in the woods, and we'd be like, every time you hear a twig snap, you go, coyote. But coyote. Coyote. I tried to this morning. There was a cat. What? It, it, there's a for weeks now. We've been like, oh, the neighbor must have a baby or something. Because we were like, we kept Ooh. hearing a baby cry, and we'd look at the monitor and be like, oh my god, is it Julian? And Julian would be totally asleep. And we'd be like, what the fuck's going on? You have a ghost. And we realized it was a kitty, going. Oh, he's a sad kitty. And uh, so I want not I'm, sad, horny, horny. And now this morning, I realized <laughs> I would like an outdoor kitty. And in that, I'd like a cat to be ingratiated and in love with me, <laughs> but I don't want to have a cat inside my house. Right. And so I was like, uh, "It's going to now be my, <laughs> it's going to now be my mission to try to ingratiate and befriend this kitty." So I laid out a couple chicken scraps. Oh. And I looked, and I laid out like five chicken scraps. Mm-hmm. I had a chicken breast that I made, and I just grabbed a little handful, and I went, and and then I put out little five little ones, and then I went out, and there were only two there, and I was like, "Okay." <gasps> okay. So sometime this morning. This little moaning kitty got his chicken. Well, I'm, and that's I how hope Miles it's the adopted a possum. And not the guy. <laughs> <laughs> a day possum. Okay, I'm very excited to talk about this because I've been actively trying to have a better sleep routine. So many things get in my way, okay? I love my phone. <laughs> I love it. I can't stop scrolling. So many things keep us up at night, right? Your to-do list, your social media, your favorite shows, a million things don't want you to sleep. Hatch does. Hatch helps you choose sleep and creative bedtime habits that make you feel better at night and energized in the morning. I've been using Hatch. I love it. It's helping me create these nighttime habits, but also helping me wake up. It's got these nice little lights in it. Like, so, so there's a nice 
calming light at night that makes me go like, ooh, it's calm time. And then in the morning, it naturally rises like the sunrise. With a Hatch Plus subscription, you can unlock premium routine building features like Q to Unwind, which signals you when it's time for bed. It's like this whole, this like <laughs> really beautiful sound. And we all go, ooh, it's time to get relaxed. Right now, Hatch is offering our listeners $20 off your purchase of the Hatch Restore and free shipping at hatch.co slash tripod. Visit hatch.co slash tripod to get $20 off and free shipping. Hatch.co slash tripod. A day possum. All right. Um, do you want the second riddle? I would love the yeah. second riddle, Rainy. What was my major in college? Not a riddle at all. Just a factual question. <laughs> and of course, we got to know. I feel like it's like like visual media arts or no, something. No, it's not any bullshit. of that. Rainy would not do that, any of that in college. Mm-mm. Rainy didn't even think of herself as a performer until she started this job. That's right, Miles. So mm. thank you about the Rainy lore. <laughs> Educate yourself, bro. Anthropology. That one, yeah. History? Very close. History feels, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, well, all every sound I'm now freaking out. There's a coyote. I know. I saw you also like kind of win. No, I was like, I can't die today, so I was <laughs> sort of looking behind Not me. Not today. I've got uh, some errands to run. I got some stuff to do. Wait, so Rainy, mm-hmm. yeah, history, anthropology. To me, those feel up in there. I'm not sure you know about this major, so I might have to just tell you. Yeah, I don't know that I've been told about this major because I feel like I would remember. Well. Also, because it's like a random, like not all, I, it's American studies. Oh, you know what? You said this once and I remember hearing it. Nationalistic much? Oh, you'd think, but it is very scathing to it the must America. Because oh, yeah. America yeah. Has a, is, is coded in blood. Yeah, it literally is just is like, tough. yeah, we. But let's um, actually, Zach saw, oh, guys, Zach went to the Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that, Zach. I have kale in every crevice of my tooth. Hey, talk to me about kale because I'm not sold on it. I know what? I, it's, I, it is one of my favorite foods. Rainy, no, it smells like fart. It tastes like fart. No, no. It you gotta massage it, bro. You gotta give oh, it some. Oh, I have to so do. A, sorry, I have to take up a part-time job massaging my kale <laughs> Here's before the I can thing. enjoy it. I have un- iceberg. I understand that. You're, iceberg. Have iceberg what? and a multivitamin, and and call me in the morning. <laughs> You're not a tender lover, and that is why your hands tender don't know lover. how to Sorry. massage. That, and I just the have kale. to say, is the craziest. <laughs> that couldn't be further from the truth, Jack. I'm the tenderest lover that there ever oh. could be. Okay, I the- and I will cite my sources. But we'll have to bleep them. <laughs> I just name. I name five women's names. Give them a call. You ask them how I love. <laughs> It's all about the. Mas- <laughs> if you were to call an ex right now, I don't even. You would do it. <laughs> I was nodding like yes. Tell me what is the context here. If I had to call yeah. an ex, I would like you to call an ex. I can't do that on the show. I can't do Here's that. Here's the hey, thing: you're live I- on the tripod. Come on, Rainy. <laughs> what are you afraid? For me, I feel like I actually could do it. Yeah, I could. You could? But I, yeah. the, the ex that I'm think, I don't really have many. And- Again, when people say ex, it's not. It doesn't have to be. Ex boyfriend girlfriend, or can it be like ex like somebody you dated a couple times and then you broke it off? We're we're here's the thing is that we're we're at the stage of our life where it's, it doesn't matter anymore. No, it doesn't matter to me. Also, I'm friends with some of my exes, so it would, really wouldn't matter. No, I'd be like, hey, what? Yeah, up? exactly. Like you could call. That's what I was just running through. I was like, is there an ex that I am good with enough to call? That I've, but I don't think I've talked to any of my exes. Although it would be two weird years. if I did it. It would be like, hey, why are you calling me? And I'd be like, I'm supposed to call an ex, and they're like, and I thought we're of you. Like fri- yeah, like, <laughs> like we're like friends now. Like it would be weird if I called a friend. It would yeah. be weird if I called someone I really don't talk to. Yeah. Although it's kind of crazy. Sarah's mom is uh, one contact next to uh, like one of my college ex girlfriends. Oh, that's rough. So oh. when I call, yes. Sometimes I'm like, oh. Uh! I gotta make sure I click the right one. Yeah, no, yeah. I have that with um, Matt McLean dated somebody named Matt. Also, my sister's name is Maddie. So uh, every time, mm. there's so many that I'm just like, even like find my iPhone. It's like, do you want to call Jim? <laughs> His last name starts with an F. And I'm like, no, no. Oh. And if I, said, if I said, hey, Shmimi, called Jim, do you think your phone would call your ex? My my Siri is off. Oh, really? It's Turn it on real quick as an experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Rainy, yeah. I think that Rainy calls her exes is a great. That's a episode. pretty good. If I could, if I could solidify that I would make ten thousand dollars for it, I would do it. <laughs> I, mean, I think that's part of the. That's so a good you're part of the saying budget. that if I, if, if you I put pay me on the you main ten thousand dollars, Zach has always, by the way, he has ten thousand dollars in a money clip in his pocket <laughs> at all times. <laughs> That's a funny experiment because yeah, there's no stakes in it for me because it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, there's this. Have you guys seen that YouTube uh, video like channel that's strangers call their crush so it's this person goes around and talks to like random strangers and then she's like call your crush right now it is 
so thrilling. Woo! That is <laughs> thrilling. I love that. You just like sit on the, like you're watching it. And you're like, <gasps> and sometimes right they're now. like, yeah, I'd love to. And sometimes they're like, no. I would love to Hi do six. a podcast episode where we help someone fall in love. Yeah. We go out mm. into the world and we yeah. say, we're not going to stop recording until we find someone to date. Until we get hungry. <laughs> or find someone. <laughs> Which, yeah. let me tell of, you I feel like we got to get, we gotta get yeah, more snacks the on the call. table. Okay, so what's your next riddle? Um. Okay. What's hard and long. Next <laughs> riddle. And rhymes with schlong. <laughs> Are you sneaking a peek? No, I don't see In what this? it is. Oh, okay. no, no, I would like to know. I was just rocking on my butt, honestly. I would like to. I didn't know. want my butt to get too sweaty, so I, I was kind like of rocking. I would like to know what's it. in there. Man, All my right. sit bones. I feel like I need more kind of thang thang in my trunk. Yeah, you, you know need I mean? some thang thang. I've I been thinking like about bit. that. Yeah, you've been thinking about. That. <laughs> you've been sitting up late at night thinking about for you. I. I <laughs> Miles needs some just, more things. Just the other night, Maggie was falling asleep and she was like about to, and I was like, "Hey, Maggie, you up?" And she's like, "What's up?" And I'm like, "I just been. I kind of feel like Miles needs more thing thing." No, I get that. And yeah. she was like, "Yeah, hey, obviously. Maggie's back home. So she's, she's back. That's good. Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. It was a rough couple days. <laughs> <laughs> There's only yeah. so many fetishes I can Google. <laughs> Which letter of the alphabet has the best eyesight? This is pretty easy. I sight. Yeah. I. The I, riddles are no. It's <laughs> a, it's H because it's next to I. Oh, that's funny. That's a better answer than this. But no, think about it. Go through the alphabet. C. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Think about riddles. Wait, wait, wait. What? I don't even get it. Is it's like riddles are like a like I have a secret. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I still I'm sitting here and I don't get it and I'm mad now. See, because it's C. You see things. Oh, uh, fuck off. C. Yeah. So, fuck off. I know. The thing with riddles is I hear them and then I immediately want the answer. I don't want to think about it too much. Well, Randy, maybe you should look into that. <gasps> Do you think that it's because of my attention span? Oh, that's interesting. How is your attention span lately? <laughs> No, that's why we were talking about this before we started recording. I deleted TikTok on yeah. my phone for the last two weeks. I'm definitely going to bring it back. Oh, yeah. Because I would like to make more TikToks and I would like to be viral on TikTok in a Charlie D'Amelio type way. But you know what's interesting? <laughs> I've noticed if you go viral on TikTok, nothing really happens. Uh, you'd think. Uh, okay. False. <laughs> is that from personal experience or <laughs> nah, somebody you talk to? <laughs> like, nobody has reached out to do like a brand deal to me. <clears throat> well, Rainy, because you only went viral on TikTok once. Okay, that's true. You know, TikTok. It's like, yeah, that's I, true. I, I, look, I've talked a lot about this in public and in private that the democratization of going viral mm. is an awesome thing in that anyone can have something they care about seen by the world it also yeah. helps different voices rise to the top but what we currently have is a system that benefits major companies yeah. not creators yeah and so the middle class of creators is getting hollowed out Here the lower class of creators is it's not a job at all you I know have to say sometimes there's a tiktok that comes up with two likes and i'm like this is funny Sure. This is good. Oh, it's because TikTok is deciding because TikTok is prioritizing videos that are like, guys, we low key are sleeping on cream cheese, and then like yeah. that has a million likes somehow, and it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. I've started getting recommended on YouTube videos that have under a thousand views. Mm -hmm. I love that, though. and and, yeah. and it came back up to me, and uh -huh. I'm like, okay, the algo's like Zach, you gotta <laughs> check this one <laughs> out. No, I love that about YouTube, where YouTube is sending me like podcasts from people I don't know what they're doing, and it, there's 30 views, and I'm like, this is kind of great because I'm getting a little like micro dose of someone else's world. Yeah. And I do like that. It's a window in. It's like it's when, not yeah. just like okay, Sean Evans crushed another hot ones, and it's like Which, well, we by knew the way, Sean he was really do. is crushing he's recently. Always, he's always growing, do. he's growing and growing. Although he was in the news recently, but I don't know enough yeah. to really comment on it. I think he broke up with his girlfriend right. when they went public. Yeah, and, yeah. I, I also didn't follow the story. But a I former saw it. adult star. Former adult. I thought she was a current adult star. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of like in a, a star for adults. You um, are Zach. You think that you're. a for adults? I do. Yeah. Our audience is aging. I can consider myself an adult star. <laughs> Good point, Zach. Yeah, no, um, no, no, no. Let him have this. Speaking of aging, yeah. uh, I was the oldest man at the Olivia Rodrigo concert. Were you really? I, uh, Keith, Becky, and I went out to Palm Springs to see opening night of Olivia Rodrigo's rocks. tour. Mm -hmm. And it was fucking delightful. No, she rocks, dude. It is. I am such a Livy. It is, it, I can't even begin to tell you. Is that what they call them? Oh, yeah. A Livy? Livy. It's the stands, the Livies. I really do is like her. Is that what they call her? That's, That's what they call her. Yeah. She is just so unbelievably talented. And she, I, yeah. like, her, vo you know, she obviously has lots of growth to do, you know, to grow into herself as a performer. It's her first time being in yeah. that but big of so an arena. But that's so exciting. Because it's, it's like, so you're exciting. watching, like, a, you know, a star quarterback on the college level team, and you know they're going to go pro. And she's you know only going to get better Swift. and better yeah. and better and better. And remember uh, what they said about Dua. 
What'd they say? Well, you remember the, there was a viral clip of Dua, and it was like, give us, yes, girl, give us nothing. Yeah. She was not really yeah. dancing. And now, yeah. Dua's an incredible dancer. Mm -hmm. It was because she was like, okay, I got to fucking step it up and learn how to do this. Yeah. I'm excited for Olivia. I, yeah. I, this is a weird analogy, but the closest that I could think to was that she's, this is so dumb to say, that she's our Billy Joel. <laughs> Whoa. Because really? she oscillates between rock songs, yeah. albeit a very different type of rock, and then these piano ballads. So she's Billy Joel of the future. I've always loved Billy Joel. Vienna is one of my top played songs every year. Oh, yeah? Really? I love that song. It's it a just great makes song. me tear up. Any celebs there? So, oh, so there were. I'm glad you asked. We right. uh, we had a little, like, we got access into this little VIP lounge. First of all, also, Chapel Roan, opener, <gasps> uh, obsessed oh, with dude. her. Oh. I would be more excited about seeing Chapel. I, I, I was honestly, equally yeah. excited. I, I'm obsessed so with her. So good. Desiree and I bought I bought Desiree and myself matching T-shirts. Uh, uh, wait, wear. what? You get so you got fun. Desiree a T-shirt? I did. Wait, Can Desiree I? Was there? <laughs> well, you didn't oh, ask. My phone must have been off. <laughs> didn't get the fucking I love concert in. Desiree Rowan wasn't there, but I know she's a big Chapel fan. Oh, I see. So I texted her and I said, "What size, girl? I got wow. you." Wow, yeah. that's very cute. Um, okay. But think, uh, we yeah. we hung out with Chris Olsen. And what? Oh my God! He really? Was, yeah. Friend of the show. You hung out with him? Oh, that makes me so happy. Uh, Dylan Mulvaney was there as well. Oh, said, hey. I love her. Oh yeah. Uh, so they were all there uh, uh, to to support opening night. Okay. Yeah. But it was really funny being in this venue because it is an army of twelve year olds. Mm -hmm. And then me and Becky really? losing our fucking minds. Oh yeah. Dude. That's actually a surprise to me because I feel really like all my audience. friends are on bored with her. Well, yes, but it's just uh, what she's famous from oh, is Disney Channel. Right. Or yeah. Is it Disney Channel? Yeah. What she's famous from is Disney Channel, yeah. and so the people who know her the most, we all know her as pop princess Olivia Rodrigo, mm -hmm. but just her base audience is younger because it's a you know yeah. children's TV show. Yeah. At least at first. And I feel like that's the, that's the music that's going to be like core memory music for that generation. Oh, yeah. You know? Definitely. And I'm just so, like, look, we all, we had... Uh, uh, the music that our we were obsessed with in our in our youth and like mm -hmm. that all the kids were onto, not as good as Olivia Rodrigo. No, they are whoa. so Flo okay. Rida. Whoa, <laughs> you know, I think Flo Rida actually is the Billy Joel of our generation. I agree. I love Flo uh, yeah, Rida. He kind of has a Billy Joel thing going on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, hell yeah, man! I had one more story. Let's see if the I moon? can remember. The moon. She wrote the moon. I saw that. She wrote a moon. It was. I heard that the dancing electric. her legs. People were were talking about her dancing legs. You I thought this? she did great. Okay. She good. had some choreographed numbers. She had some backups, which I didn't expect to see Olivia like do like choreography. Yeah, that's interesting because I feel like she's more of a, um, you know, plant. Jump up and down, yeah. scream. Jump up and yeah. down and scream and plant and just sing. Yeah, right. Like which, a Billy Joel. I know. But now, <laughs> like a, just like Billy Joel. I think uh, now, though, Olivia is probably looking around and she's thinking, okay, Tate McRae dancing better than anybody's ever danced. Could I can't. I don't know. You I don't know Tate McRae? I can't comment. Uh -uh. Tate McRae is the, is like, I would say, Becoming very, sort of different types of music. Olivia Rodrigo is like more in the Taylor Swift vein, just then it's sort of like more emotional, mm -hmm. kind of singer songwriter. Like a Billy Joel. <laughs> yeah, like a Billy Joel. Tate McRae is like doing Britney in 2024. Whoa. And cool. she's Fun. really crushing it. She's fantastic. She's like, you know, it's very poppy, it's fun, it's like sexy and whatever. She sang at the NHL All-Star Game and her one of her ex-boyfriends mm -hmm. was on the team and she sang and she crushed and she was great. <laughs> Do you so, guys want some? Uh, let's do another. Okay, let's go back to questions. Wait, no, you got it. So here's the oh, next. We got one right. Oh, yeah. we got it. You've we been did. holding out Ooh, a prize crispy this whole time? onion chips. <laughs> you don't have anything sour? <laughs> Ew, what the? Ew, what the? Turn in all your friendships, onion. <laughs> it's for this you, is that a vegan. vegan caramelized oh, onion dip. God. Not even I want this. Vegan onion caramelized this dip? This seems. Uh, he got chocolate. And that's right. <laughs> Well, you can have some. No. You please have but some. But this there. is dairy free. Yeah, I appreciate it. Dairy free. It. Dairy free. Okay, Plus, I, got, I guess I gotta on try the theme. onion, crispy onion shit. This is double. My breath is gonna be atrocious. Well, that's what you need. <laughs> okay. I never had crispy. Oh my god, they look like um banana chips, but they're little onions. I've never even heard of this. Are you oh. supposed to eat them? Or are you supposed to dip them in a salad? I have no idea. They were rogue. They were a rogue bag. <laughs> okay, I'm on board. Really? <laughs> yeah. Those are kind of fire. Yeah. They're like I, dehydrated onion chips. I take back everything. They have the... um. Mm, those are really, really strong. They have the texture of uh, styrofoam. But they're yeah. onion style. The process used to create these very crispy onion chips maintains all the flavor and provides an irresistible snack that makes you want to keep munching. I have to say, I think those are vile. You don't like them? But I'll just... I'm just adding it to the tapestry... I just want to add this to the conversation. Those are disgusting. 
I mean, no. I, if I could just, if I could just add it, not taking away from anyone else's opinion, but I just wanted to add it. Ooh, I'm dipping you the onion in the onion, and I don't like how it looks. This is double. Oh, vegan <laughs> dip. I know, and I, I know, it just something Ink. shouldn't be vegan. Hummus should be vegan. No, I actually kind of like that. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Ooh. Zach is going to get canceled like Charlie D'Amelio and the snail. Oh no! It just there's something there's oh, a yeah. there's like a that. brightness to it that it's too I, sweet. I, I yeah yeah. It, why is that sweet? Oh, it's disturbing. Yeah, it's a little upsetting. Well, Trader, where Joe swinging a mess? <laughs> okay, it's Joe ever. But keep, about this, keep swinging, my dude. Mm. Oh, I feel like I already have to poop. Did onions make you have to shit yourself? Always. What? No. Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's get that flavor out of our mouth. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Rainy. I'm going to chase it with an espresso bean. Who should? Those are really good. I had too many of them, and I'm worried it's going to tweak me. Next, we've got mini mochi rice nuggets. Okay, we don't I've even need wa- a fucking, we don't even need a Android question for this. You have this? No, well, I wanted to get that taste out of my mouth. <laughs> so you don't even want to wait for the riddle. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a riddle. Well, I feel well, like I, I got my American feels like cheating. You know what? I am going to abstain. I refuse to eat that until I earn it. Okay. Oh, wow. Zach works hard. <laughs> um, I will say I've been wanting to try these. So I'm excited to know that this is what the, is in the prize pool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she opened it. I want it. <laughs> I can smell the mochi rice nuggets and wafting for, towards me. Yeah, you can put it in soup. Only 200 or calories per serving. I don't even look at that ever. <laughs> I've never looked at a nutrition <laughs> I don't like when the menus have calories. I like yeah, I know. It's rude. Um, okay. Not either. What's a tree's favorite drink? This one's kind of fun. What's a tree's, tree's favorite, favorite drink? Oh, no. You got the... Oh, an onion dip on the mic. <laughs> oh, a tr- like smell like onions. A tree. So dr- trees. Um, they drink uh, sun from the sky via photosynthesis. Oh. They also will drink water from their roots. That's interesting, Zach. Water, as a guess, is kind of big. Um, rainwater. Trees drink. Now I'm guessing it's going to be a pun like oak or sap. Yeah. Or, let's do word association. Tree or tree leaf. leaf. Root. Root beer. Shit, I just gave that away. Root okay, beer. Yeah, you away. just gave us I the hole in one, but root it's got to be root beer. beer. By the way, guys, the <laughs> it sort of looks like it's going to rain. I was worried that it was going to rain today. But I love the, honestly, I've been really loving the sort of Pacific Northwest vibe we've I know, been going we for. we really, I'm just like, um, interesting. I thought I moved to LA. Mm, these are delicious. I wish that they were sweet. These are crispy. Mo- okay, so they make, Trader Joe's makes a bigger version of these, and these are sort of the little ones for uh, salads. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, these are like nice little... They're delicious. Yeah, those are really good. I Little love those. nuggies. I don't know I've why been... they're called mochi. Because it's mochi. It's just mochi. But the mochi ingredients are... are just rice. That's what mochi is. What? I mean, rice and like tapioca flour or something. Like, oh. it's like rice and then, which I guess, yeah. I think it's like rice, rice bran oil, sea salt, some soy lechin, lechithin, lecithin, lecithin. Oh, I haven't told you guys about my... How I bombed karaoke. Oh my gosh. This is huge. Talk about karaoke. karaoke. I'm such a karaoke We're guy. Kinda. And honestly, the fact that we haven't tend a plug at karaoke, oh. middle of the day, we go to a karaoke bar. It's really funny. Karaoke yeah. had a big moment for me in my life. And I feel like I... I you're I, over I, it? No, it's that it's it's unfair. Whoa. Because you're so good? Yeah. Hmm. I got to be honest. I've seen you do karaoke. <laughs> Miles, I want you to watch what you're about to say. <laughs> and I just got to say, Zach, Fine. It's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> you guys went a lot, I feel like, at a certain point. One time that I was there, and I was like, look at all these other YouTubers here. We just started the company. And I was like, okay, cool. Go off, Zach. No, it's really <laughs> what it is, is that it feels a lot of my songs are, are too rehearsed. I know uh, the turns. I know the twists. I know what's going to get the crowd going. And it's yeah. like, am I even being Well, you got to try a, a different song then, Randy, right? I've done them all. You've you done have not done all. You've not I've done retired, all. I've done karaoke so much that I've retired songs. What's the song you retired? <laughs> I, you I retired so Mason. Yes. We have to. Could this cut to immediately you bombing a karaoke it would be so <laughs> fucking funny. I promise you, <laughs> I would put money on the table that I can go into any karaoke bar and make people go, oh. Turn oh. their heads and sing along by the end. I don't see because I don't consider you money on the you, table. I don't consider money on the table. I don't consider you someone that's good at singing, but maybe that's my ignorance. Yeah, I've never heard you sing. I've never heard you sing. I've never heard you sing. <laughs> upset. I've never Zach. Talking. He's upset, but it's interesting because he could sing right now. He could sing right now. And so it's like it Zach, prove all. it. Prove it. Prove you're singing. Come don't on. Don't stop believing. Karaoke's not about. First of all, don't stop believing. <laughs> don't That's stop. your first mistake. <laughs> don't stop. <laughs> That's believing. your first That's a mistake. Classic karaoke song. No, uh, there's a science to a karaoke song, uh, and, and I'm gonna help you. I want to hear your story about bombing because I think I can fix you. 
And karaoke is not about singing. It's about storytelling. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so. Tell us about This guy your... clearly went to Emerson. <laughs> 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 okay, so I went to Kaylin's birthday, and it was all of her friends. Weird. Wow. That <laughs> um, that's super weird, actually. Because I actually had nothing to do this weekend. And what day was it? Was Friday? It's Saturday. Oh. oh. I actually oh. was free on Saturday. <laughs> I. Uh, that's I, really interesting. I, I stayed gonna... home and watched a movie alone. Oh. First of all, interesting to sort of meet somebody else's friends, you know? It's like, oh, here's a whole world yeah. that I'm stepping into. Oh, especially when it's coworkers to friends? Yeah. Yeah, You're really like, interesting. Oh, okay. Um, they're all nice. I like them all. But this yeah, is, okay, so Kaylin and I decide to sing a duet. You. And I am tasked with choosing. You know oh, what so I chose? It was like, we want a duet, mm. pick a duet. Yeah. Check on it by Beyonce. That's a t- bad choice. Really Huff. bad. T- Huff. Oh. Really, really. Oh. I do not, she doesn't breathe in it. You think, ooh boy, you're looking like that. That's the slowest no, that's, no, part. No, you can't sing a song that's like tough. that. That's tough. That's <laughs> tough. Rainy, you set yourself up to fail. So, and we're so like, okay, so. <gasps> by the middle of the song, we're like, oh my God, oh. it's too much. And then, so second, we're like, Kaylin's, I'm like, Kaylin, you have to choose this time. That was your first bomb. And then you said, I'm going back for more. We, we bombed thrice. Oh. Well, Rainy, to make you feel seen, I'm sort of cutting <laughs> it as an intermission to your story. Yeah. At a holiday party at this company, <laughs> I, me and Sarah thought, Let's sing karaoke. We're at a karaoke yeah. bar. We went to a dinner and then it was karaoke after. So fun. And we thought, let's sing. This would be so funny. Mm-hmm. What's a fun Halloween Christmas song? Baby, it's cold outside. This is great. <laughs> no problem. What you don't remember about Baby, it's cold outside is they're singing off the beat. Oh. I really can. Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> I've got to bend it. Baby, it's cold. Yeah. It's sort of, you're overlapping this singing thing and it is way harder than you remember. And me and Sarah cleared the room. You could go in and out of the room. Oh, you go in and out of the room to the bar outside. People said, and I'm going to go take a <laughs> smoke break. Yeah. I don't even smoke. We started singing, and it was like, man, and people just kind of Trickled shuffled, out. and then it, it was deeply embarrassing. That hurts. It hurt. Yeah. It hurt. Although I've crushed it since then <laughs> in a workplace karaoke, so but I'm the not, wound remains. You did the redemption the wound round. remains. I'll never forget, so continue. So this is the second song, Kaylin chooses some song Glee version. And I'm like, I don't know this song, but I'm sure I can read the thing. This is, what do you- Rainy. <laughs> you go first for a- Fast, uh, like borderline rap song. Yeah, hard to do. Yeah. Then oh. you go with "I'm gonna wing it." Yeah, and so and then she, it turns out she didn't even really know the words, what? and <laughs> also there was no Glee karaoke, so it was just the regular song, some random song from the eighties. Oh. Ew. Eighties <laughs> <laughs> old. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Third tank. We. I was like, we are not messing up this time. We need to both know the words. So I go through her Spotify Wrapped because I'm like, if it's on here, you've listened to it a million times. We have a crossover song. You know what it is? Young Gravy. No, I wish. <laughs> Oops. Been. Kiss Me by Six Pence and the non Richard. Kiss me. Exactly. Under the milky car light. Which was great. We all knew the words. It's a better karaoke song. Not the vibe. Why? It was just people got bored. They were looking at their phones. Ugh. Oh, but those are bad people. <laughs> yeah, shame on them. No, you can't. Yeah, you can't. You got to pay attention. You got to give people the love. And y'all say, yeah. when someone's bombing karaoke, no better a time to look like a hero because you can be there singing along to the song, hyping them up. Yeah. That Pointing. is just as important to a karaoke <laughs> environment. That You have people around you that are hyping you up and psyched about it. Yeah. And if you're at a good karaoke bar, because I got to be honest, I know Zach disagrees with me on this. Here we go. But at a karaoke bar, I think that the best karaoke experience is a stage in a bar. Oh, I fully agree. Because oh, I yeah. feel like I've talked to you guys about it and you're all like, no, the private rooms are the Oh, no, thing. no, 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 no. Yeah. I want... I, I hate the private rooms. I room. hate the private rooms. I want to. I want the stage. Yeah. I want to... Yeah. I want attention. I want, yeah. Look at us. <laughs> I, we want We want to perform to the people. <laughs> yeah. right Look at us. We want, <laughs> we want attention. Look at us. And I like that environment because there's also... There's, a, there's stakes to it. Yep. Yeah, but then you have to wait in line is the problem. That's the tough part. It can't be you, too busy. Yeah, if yeah. you have a big enough crew, then you go private room. But yeah. I, yeah. ideally, my best karaoke nights, mm-hmm. stage. Yeah. To me, even if it's a big party, if you know everyone, there's no stakes to it. But if yeah. you can see, and also at a karaoke bar, me and Keith and uh, Becky in New York went to a karaoke bar and... Um, we met like a bunch of people that were at this karaoke bar and became oh. friends with them by the end of the <gasps> night. It was like really great. Huge. And I think that that like sort of bond of like, we didn't hear you singing. Oh, you're so great. Or like, oh, that person's singing a song that I love. Like I'm going to sing along. That brings people together. And I love that. Yeah. So Rainy, I don't want you to bomb 
ever again. Right, right, right. right. So Tell we, you know, kind of two pros over here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're about to mansplain karaoke. <laughs> I'm going to give you and the listeners at home the foolproof plan yeah. to crush karaoke. Oh, yeah. Step one. Pick a song that you don't realize or that the people go, oh, my God, I forgot about this yeah. song. You yeah. want to tap into a nostalgia. You don't want something that's too obvious. Mm-hmm. You don't want something that's too avant-garde. Step two. Song cannot <laughs> be long. No. Song should yes. not be long. Song cannot be long. If it's too long, people are going to be on their phones. They're going to be bored. A tur- like uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart, you need to be- give the best performance of all time. Otherwise, I'm like, why did you just pick a seven and a half minute song? You're selfish. Agreed. Uh-huh. Step three, you also kind of don't want to pick a f- in my opinion, fast song. Yeah. That's, that was a hard lesson learned. Because, like, don't you go know, too fast. Yeah. Like, you want to don't go too fast. <laughs> She's my cherry pie. <laughs> See, that's kind of the tempo you're looking for. Everyone, yeah. I, I'm always with like people that are like, oh my God, like, uh, say my name. I love that song. And say then, my name. That one? Yeah. Well, you think you, you go think. the chords, well, but then you do, then you do the verse. No. Act strange. So me the reason why I'm strange. No, no, back from me. And you're just watching the words go. It's too much. To me times two. Why can't you just tell the truth? It's time to tell, tell me. Yeah, like, see, Zach, I actually am getting how you're how you're turning heads. I think that was really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was quite beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Number, what are we on? Four? Five. I don't know. Bring me on a journey. I said it before. I'll say it again. Karaoke is about storytelling. Yeah. Now, you're not there to prove that you're the best singer. Mm-hmm. You're there to inhabit a character. That's oh. why I do it. Can really go a long way. Yeah. yeah. Especially. Well, that's rule number six. That's rule number six <laughs> is a duet can go a long way because something me and Sarah do a lot is we'll do, obviously, you do a duet song, swap the boy girl parts. Oh, now we're classic. having fun. Okay. No, now Miles fun. is sort of playing a character. Now Sarah's sort of playing a character. We, one song we will say. Think we of it as sometimes. role playing. It's like role playing. <laughs> Sometimes we sang um, Tenacious D, Fuck Her Gently. Love that choice. Really that great song. And, that's, and, that's, and by the way, great example of something to be like, holy shit, I didn't expect yeah, this like, one. Oh, I remember that song. Yeah. Sometimes you got to say, hey, I'm, I'm going to fuck, fuck you softly. <laughs> I'm going to screw you gently. He's singing I'm a little off key, but yeah. you know, it's, it's all right. Uh, uh, so, going back sorry, to sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> Zach, filmmaker. Miles, musical theater icon. That's right. Thank you. That's right. Zach, professional said, training. Thank you. And he actually said, oh, it's about performing. And that's right. Yeah. But if you can sing the part, you're going to get cast. You got to get the key, the note right. You got to sing on tempo. Yeah. But with the idea of a build, okay? Yeah. I want you, don't go, don't go full 100 for the first verse, okay? I want you to start somewhere knowing that you're going to end even stronger. So I want you to mm-hmm. know uh. that this is a, a song where I'm going to bring people and build them and mm-hmm. build them and round after round yeah. and by the final chorus, tears. That's what, See, wow. that's why a song also, you want people to know the chorus but maybe not know all of it. That's uh. why the sweater song by... Oh, Ingrid? Is that by Weezer? Weezer. Yeah, oh. Weezer. I sing that a lot. Undone parentheses, the sweater, the sweater song. song. Yeah. What about Lucky by Jason Mraz and Colby Clay? Uh, that what's, sounds good. What's, can you sing I thought you were going to do Lucky by Britney Spears, and by the way, great choice. That's a good one. That's Because you can do a little Britney voice. Um, Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Oh. <laughs> lucky nah. No, you know why? Too earnest. It's too earnest. Too earnest. <laughs> lucky I'm in love with my best friend. And people are like, this is nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, mm, I'm here it's to almost because karaoke as an idea yeah. is sort of ironic. <laughs> it's sort of like the idea the that level of irony you know. that plays into a lot of good karaoke songs of like, oh, you know, in the example of you two switching yeah. the roles, you're like, oh, this is funny. Um, or like, you know, the big gruff dude in the group singing Lucky by Britney Spears, right? That's, There's, yeah. You, you, you kind of got to buck the expectation. Or you can sing professionally. Those are the two, like, because I feel like sometimes <laughs> I'll go and be like, oh, that was funny. And then someone will be like, I actually am. I went to Juilliard. I went to Juilliard and I'm Elphaba in Broadway. And then they Love sing that. and it's like, holy shit, I'm moved. Yeah, and you're like, you should not be here. You should be on auditions. Can't stop eating these little mini mochi rice nuggets. I know, I know. full of gluten. No, I'm just kidding. I, probably another gluten free. All right, oh, we're, we got to get to the the last two snacks. Also, okay, we got another riddle alert. Anyway, Rainy, uh, I think we should obviously do a plug at karaoke because I think that's really. I think funny. that's a, a strong idea. I mean, we just did a uh, scavenger hunt video, and um, one I was mm-hmm. teamed up with Johnny, and I I one of them was we had to sing karaoke, and I did it, and Johnny was like, Zach, that was amazing, and I'm like, Johnny. I know. 
<laughs> Jesus. It's so funny to watch you be like not humble about something. <laughs> it's such a yeah. random Because like, you're not like this a lot, but <laughs> yeah. the way that you're just like, yeah, I fucking crush karaoke. Keith is it's a be- so funny to me. Keith is a better singer than me. Of course. And he gets mad because he <laughs> has admitted in lie detector tests that he thinks I'm better at karaoke. Whoa. Wow. And okay. it like it like deeply upsets him. That's so funny. <laughs> That is wild. What a funny rivalry. Look, we all have to, you know, sometimes you just got to be a little cocky. Oh, I think usually. <laughs> I think it behooves you. I, it I, think it, I think it's unbecoming of me. <laughs> no, I love it. I love that. I think that that's like, honestly, it's re- it's relaxing to me. Because it's like, oh, we're in good you hands. You a guy like you. You don't think that no? this guy's going to be good at karaoke. And then it's because the irony of it all. It's the irony it's like, of it oh, all. oh, wait, this guy. Yeah. Okay. What tastes better than it smells? Bart. That came out too quickly for it not to have been, like, real. Like, Zach Zach, 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 Zach said that so quickly. Zach said that so quickly that it couldn't have been a lie that he thinks that for real. Fart. 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 He likes a little, oh, I'm wondering, God. I want to hear the last time he tasted. He tasted. He tasted. He <laughs> fart. tasted a fart. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what Art. tastes better than it smells? Well, I mean, it doesn't need to be something that smells bad. It could just be something that tastes even better than it smells. <laughs> is it, but it's a riddle, so it's going to be like a funny Oh, little... this is a riddle? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that we were so doing... That, so that solidifies that Zach does think that farts taste better than they smell. <laughs> he didn't even think it was a riddle. He just <laughs> thought Rainy was asking. I, I forgot that we were doing riddles. I thought like we were just trying to come up with a food. I thought we were just chatting. I mean, hey, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. These onion chips. That's a great answer. But it's not the right Not one. the riddle. It's not Trader Joe's okay, Christmas onion. tastes better than it smells. A, 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 a mouth. A tongue. Yes. That's so oh, great work. Okay. So fucking okay. dumb. I hate this. I hate this. Let's go. Spanish, <laughs> Spanish cheese tapas sampler. Spanish cheese tapas sampler. What is it? Okay. No more. <laughs> no more spending my budget on cheeses that I can't eat. Oh, you're not gonna have some cheese? <laughs> Lick it and tell me you're not gonna yeah. love it. Iberico cabra. You don't and have to chew manchigo. it. Zach, I'll chew it and baby bird it into your mouth. The chewing is the part that gets my stomach. So yeah. Miles, do you have a relation? Like, do you have a a do I have a relationship with cheese? This. Yeah. Yeah, of course, Rainy. <laughs> Rainy, I'm such a cheese guy. What 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 do you think of when you think of cheese? Like, what are your favorite ways to eat cheese? Well, when I think of cheese, I think of being a child, yeah. and my parents had this family friend who uh, was un- unfathomably wealthy, one of the wealthiest people in North Carolina, and they would have this Christmas party every year oh my God. that was uh, un- hilariously extravagant, like 30-foot-tall Christmas tree in the middle of their- Like shit's Creek. Sh- like, yes, like yeah. crazy fucking living room, crazy fucking mansion with multiple properties on it. Christmas like party. like shit's Creek. Like That's shit's your Creek. reference for wealth. Um, when they they had this <laughs> this Christmas party. Yeah. In that one episode, it was like a flashback to when they were wealthy, and it was a huge Christmas. Oh, wealthy. Party. Yeah, like shit's Creek. Go on. Just like shit's Creek. Just like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just like um, and Frankie Muniz. So, but yeah, basically, <laughs> I remember going, and there was a cheese table. Whoa. With all sorts of crazy fancy cheeses, and just eating it and being like, it makes me feel good to eat something complex. It makes me feel nice to have like cheese because mm-hmm. it's kind of a funky flavor. Mm-hmm. It's like it feels very adult to like. You can really explore it too. Miles yeah. was really telling us before the Miles was telling me before the pod that he grew up in a in a vegan forward house. Not vegan exclusive, mm. but we had milk, but it was skim. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> was it an ingredients milk. household? What do you mean by that? Have you heard about this? No. Um, it's like this big thing on TikTok where like. Did you grow up in an ingredients household? If you did, you're going to be having chips and cheese, rice and cheese. Yes. Um, chocolate chips for dessert. Nuts as a snack. Like, it's like, mm-hmm. you don't buy, like, snacks, like, oh, no, my parents, fruit roll-ups. No, no, no. Yeah, we didn't. No, no, no. We never uh, bought fruit roll-ups. My parents were buying, like, um, yeah, ingredients. We'd have, like, peanut butter jelly toast. Exactly. For, um, as a snack. And it's like, yeah, what's your I favorite ingredient? I for some toast right now. That sounds so good. Can you imagine a pipe hot toast? If you had a whole you to- piping hot toast, <laughs> solar somehow. powered toaster. But yeah, like we had ingredients, and to me, cheese is one of those adult flavors mm-hmm. that you really. I, this love. episode's making me hungry, and I I'm just scarfing down these fucking have oily some, nuggets, <laughs> and some I'm not <laughs> vegan caramelized I can't, onion. I, nothing on this table is making me feel good, but I want it. The espresso mm. chocolate covereds you could have. I guess. All Ta- right. Well, I've got one more thing that you can't eat. Oh no, yes. wait, no, it has chocolate in it. That's okay. I don't care. 
It's a, it's a fart. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to phrase this because okay. it's a fun fact that I learned recently. It's a, this isn't a riddle. Not a riddle. How big is Italy? I, what? What state? What size of state could you compare the size of Italy to? It's a boot the size. It's a boot the size of. I, you know, I have no idea. Like, is it a like it's a boot the size of France? Is that the joke? <laughs> like, is it like a Delaware looking motherfucker? Like, is it like we it think like it's big, but it's actually a tiny little baby? No, in, in terms of like square miles. Right. No, that's what I'm saying. Is it like the size of uh, exactly. Pennsylvania or is it actually only it's only a Delaware? You know what? I'm just going to give you guys this as like a little cuz it's not really a riddle. I'm going to tell me you something. exactly. Yeah, I just want to tell you. Why don't you yeah. just hit me with some knowledge? It's the size of Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> As, Not really a climactic answer. <laughs> as she holds up some crispy rice bites with peanut butter. butter, butter crispy rice bites, and I was confused because I thought that the snack was going to relate to Arizona. I did too. She said Arizona, and this no. is like a, almost a Japanese snack. <laughs> and I was, my eyes were searching. Yeah. But let's read these ingredients. So we got tapioca syrup. That is so funny. I think about that all the time. Yeah. Where if you look at Europe and you just try to put Europe over the United States, it's so it's tiny. It's teeny tiny. I thought I thought Italy was probably the size of. All of California. So guys, Sarah has been watching. Um, guys, I can I can eat this. You can eat this. I'm gonna eat this. Let's I can go, eat this. Zach. I see syrup. I see flour. I see oil. Rainy just grabbed a stack of the cheeses. <laughs> For two. So she grabbed. I was like, then, to be honest, I want both of these. No, anyway. that is nice. That's I mean, fucking well, I just go. love cheese. I've got a little fun fact you're gonna Ooh. love. Speaking of sizes. Oh. So <laughs> Sarah's. Been, <laughs> okay. Sarah's been watching all uh, these sort of like Icelandic murder shows oh recently. Oh my gosh! I know so many people who are loving those. Yeah. Mm hmm. He's been watching a bunch of them and um, individually wrapped. Okay. And what's hilarious is we were like, okay, so she's watching all these murder shows and it's like, wow, there's a lot of crime in, in Iceland. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how many people, have, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? Just a direct quote. <laughs> so what was hilarious was, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is the storytelling you come to, come to expect from the tripod. <laughs> but I do want to know. says, okay. <laughs> 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 but we're like, how many people live in Iceland? And there's only fucking 300,000 people what? that live in Iceland. And I was like, that is not very many people. You can't be murdering in Iceland. Even there's making many a TV them. show. Like, that's like kind of a, like, a, all these TV shows for only 300,000 people. <laughs> I, I was like, wow, like, everybody, everybody had industry. everybody in Iceland work on this. <laughs> you kind of can't help but feel bad for the murderer who was born in Iceland. Oh, <laughs> mm, I am currently eating... No, peanut butter, crispy rice bites. These are really fantastic, by the way. Mm. They're thick. Breeding. Mm. Of Yum. course, peanut butter, rice, crispy snacks. Pumped with peanut butter. They, it's it's dense. Com pumped with peanut butter, replete with crispy rice bits. Chock, chock full, full of, of chocolatey, chocolatey goodness. goodness. Charmingly, Charmingly chewy, chewy, yet cravably crispy. crispy. Complimentary mm. to coffee, cocoa, milk, and more. By the way, yeah, this would crush with a cocoa. Man, we really slept on hot cocoa. We gotta bring that back. We gotta bring that back. Gotta bring it back. For when Zach's it was soy cocoa. recently, I was like, oh my gosh, when I was little, I was so excited for it to rain because then I always drank hot cocoa and it was so good. And at night, after I did homework, I always drank a big mug, you'll like this, a big mug of hot milk. I do love that, Rainy. Hot hot now milk. everyone's like, I, I don't want to drink my calories. I want to drink my calories. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You mean like, because people don't want smoothies anymore? No, they're like, oh... I don't want to drink my calories. <laughs> no. I can't have a beer. I don't want to drink my calories. Oh, yeah. I want to eat them. Mm. I want to drink them. <laughs> I'm not really drinking that much recently. Mm. Yeah, that's because... Because you're a dad? That's because yeah. we're straight edge. Drinking is not cool. No, I'm not straight edge, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like if you wake up that early every day... It's that's like... kind of the thing. I'm just afraid of the hangover. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. like, if I drink, I'm going to be hungover in the morning. I, uh, I met a lot of uh, our fans at, at the Olivia show. It was really nice. Oh, that's great. Um, there was We were waiting for like a bus to come pick us up that, that had been, I don't know. So I just was basically a sitting <laughs> duck for about 40 minutes. A sitting oh. duck because you're so famous and like, so it's like, okay, if I well, just like, exist in a crowd, <laughs> it's like, I'm a sitting duck. Yeah, I, I would say like a sitting duck. <laughs> Keith and I together, like he's so recognizable. Yeah, with the two of you together. And yeah. then you like, you're like, is that? And then you look and then it's, yeah. It's sort of a who's who of remember that. There, Jason <laughs> Sudeikis was there. Really? Did you talk to Sudeikis? No, he was with his, his daughters. So you didn't want to talk to him? You didn't feel like you could be two sitting ducks together? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he was very much taken, like, watching after his oh, very adorable little girls. That's cute. I love him. He's so fucking great. There's a lot of people I really like in the in the modern media. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, speaking of so parasocial, it's like, okay, I'm a parasocial relationship with? Yeah. You know what? You know what my most parasocial relationship is? What? 
I feel like I know Noah Khan. Like when when I listen really? to music, I'm just like, yeah, My I know friend that Noah. guy. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Also, I like that. I heard through like eight folds that he went to the same high school as my college boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So for some reason, I'm like, oh yeah, he, they know each other, and like he's friend friend friend. Yeah, no, I get totally that. fake. I don't know that I have a parasocial relationship with anybody. Yes, you do. I'm Come sure on. you do. And you don't have any with any. You watch a show and you're like, I'm really proud of that guy yeah. for doing this show. Like Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, by the way, he loves Sydney. He's the biggest. This guy, biggest Sydney Sweeney fan I know. He loves have you seen his web. phone background? Have you seen his phone background? <laughs> It's Sydney Sweeney at the VMAs. He loves their Tell her, Zach. Tell her. You look. She just she can do it all. She gets me. She's Drama, a triple comedy. Threat. Probably great at singing. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I think you were gonna say singing. Set singing. Singing. Probably great at singing. Um, I assume I have one. I mean, there are people that I like that I think are super talented. Mm -hmm. Donna Glover. Yeah, but I don't think that I could be his friend. Oh? No. <laughs> Are you okay, man? <laughs> I, I, not that I think I could, but when, when I see him do something, I go, "Oh man, that's so awesome. like I'm yeah, so yeah, proud yeah. of him. I'm proud of him in a way that I would be proud of a friend for doing something cool." Yeah, I guess, I agree. Like, Am I proud of Vampire Weekend? I just like them. That's so funny. <laughs> I actually feel like I have a parasocial relationship with a lot of internet people creators because they're yeah. like one degree of separation away from me mm. yeah. in this weird way where I'm like, okay, I know yeah. people that know you yeah. and yet we do not know each other. Yeah. They're probably not aware of who I am. But we're kind of all in the same cohort. But we're all sort of. Sort of the, that's like how we're I peers. feel. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel. But then you go to VidCon and you see sort of, okay, there's this weird kind of Illuminati Whoa. group of people that um, think they're as famous as Jason Sudeikis. There have been people I've been uh -huh. excited to meet. So I guess in that of like, oh, I like, I watch you and you, I like you. Yeah. yeah. Right. It was well, Char Charlie. Charlie. Oh Demilio. Yeah. Um, let's do advice. Cut to theme song. It's advice that'll go four miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go four miles. Everyone get ready. Miles Nation. Miles Nation. Go. It's advice that'll go four miles. If I say I'll go four miles. Have you ever wanted your snack to be crispity crunchity? <gasps> yes. Just like, like mini mochi. I like texture. Have you ever wanted something <laughs> cold to run down the back of your throat? Mm, ice, ice, baby. <gasps> ice, ice. <laughs> ding, 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 you know when you're like ding, having ding, 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 ding. like a like a oh, okay. Was were that? you milking the cat? You were were like, you milking the cat? No, cow? is it when you have a, a bagel that's so chewy that it kind of hurts your jaws? Yes. Yeah. That's a little much. In a good way. That's a little much. No, you I like that? Yeah, yeah, you know, I I've work. been hearing if you, the more you chew, the better you, your jaw will be. Really? I've I believe been that. doing a special revolutionary snack in the way that I prepare it. Ooh. And your fridge is actually a link to how awesome you are in the bedroom. That's true. Thanks for the support, <laughs> Rainy. Uh, basically, I've been putting rice uh, grapes. Hang on. You've Shit. been putting rice grapes? No. I've been putting grapes in my crisper. In your rice? I've been washing my grapes, putting them in a dish, putting oh, the dish in the crisper. What's nice. a crisper? The what's crisper is just the... Oh, Zach he doesn't even know because he has a dovin. Yeah. <laughs> A crisper is the drawer in your fridge that oh, it controls the humidity. I didn't know that had a name. It's called the crisper. It's yeah. And a it's lot of for, fridges say crisper. It's yeah. They say crisper because it's for fruits and vegetables, and it's about the humidity. It's about controlling the humidity mm -hmm. in that area, and it makes it better for fruits and vegetables. I've been putting grapes in the crisper, Ooh. and I wash them all. I've also been doing this when I first get home because first I was like, if you wash the fruits, they expire faster. But then I heard if you wash them, you actually wash the mold spores off, so they expire slower. Oh. And you gotta you put pack a, them right. Put a little oh. uh, paper towel put inside. A paper, yeah. Put it upside down. Yeah. Let the moisture collect. Ah. Let the moisture collect in the paper do towel. Do that for your spinach. Yeah. Do it for your berries. Yeah. You're going to thank me later. This has been advice from Zach. They will keep longer <laughs> and it's better for you. I've been trying to eat more fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And grapes are nature's candy. They are. People said yeah. they were raisins at one point. Yeah. But I disagree. But they're the useful version of, they're not old. No. They're not old and sad. They're full of youth and plumpness. And Squ and they're just gushers, pretty much. And I, that, see, that's exactly what I feel. And what I've been doing recently is when I want to be like, I want ice cream sandwich. I've been eating little berries instead, mm. little snacks, little grapes, little clementines. Yeah. And I do feel like it's been uh, a nice little transition for me. I've heard that if you're craving, like if you're craving fries, eat an avocado. Like your body will tell you what the, what it wants. Okay, that's not 
<laughs> I just want to stop you right there. <laughs> if I'm craving fries, I should have an avocado. Well, because it's fat. Both it's, of them are fat. You're, you're craving. Oh, yeah. that so it's like, makes oh, sense. You can like, yeah. But I sort of feel like it's like if I'm craving fries, what's the fruit? I should have a potato that's fried. <laughs> <laughs> Oven roasted potato. I should, oven, <laughs> I should have an air fried potato yeah. smothered in ketchup. I'm mm. trying to imagine me going home and Maggie being like, hey, I really want fries. And I go, actually, <laughs> time for an avocado. Time for an avocado, <laughs> babe. Avocado toast. I got you. Yeah. Avocado. It's got to be the kind of got it. The problem is, because to me, I'm a full believer in treating myself. Oh, I just yeah. am snacking too much yeah. by mass. You have yeah, been. and then it's sometimes you kind of control. feel sick. And no, it's, like, it's, it's more about how I feel than anything. I'm yeah. not worried about really calories. I'm not really worried about any of that. I'm just worried about like making sure that I'm giving myself nutrients yeah. and I feel Setting better at the end of the day. yourself up for success. Yeah, if I have like, if I eat a, you know, little sweet or a little sugar or a little mm-hmm. candy every time I want a snack, yeah. I, I'm going to feel nasty. Yeah. But if I nasty. eat grapes and clementines and apples and peanut butter... I, I almost always want a fruit. I love them. I call them nature's candy. Zach nice. just coined this nice. really interesting. I feel like I said that. <laughs> uh, if you did, it wasn't memorable. <sighs> okay. All right. Well. Well. Hey guys, I want you to uh, if you're out there, tell someone you love them. Yeah. Oh my god, that's nice. And do you want to maybe like lead by example? I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. Have a good ass week, everybody. <laughs> 